listening. Uh, the scene is still in some degree of chaos, but the police have uh, set up a major mobilization point uh, just outside the building, and they've set up a tactical mobilization point. The major mobilization point is uh, for the responding units involved in the rescue. The tactical one is actually an armed mobilization point for security outside the World Trade Center now. Thanks very much. Let's go to the White House. Claire Shipman is on the phone. Claire, what's that we're looking at? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. All we know is it's a gigantic plume of smoke coming from behind the old executive office building, and we're told that the White House itself, the West Wing, at the very least, is being evacuated, that our personnel from there are being asked to leave. We've sent people um, running over there to try to find out what it is, but we don't know yet. Now, the old executive office building is to the slightly to the west and a fraction to the south. So we are looking southwest from a camera just across Lafayette Park, which is north of the White House. The White House is to the left side, out of your picture. Maybe even the cameraman could give us some appreciation. But you have no idea? Was that an explosion? Did you hear we anything? Did we did not hear it. In fact, we were trying to figure out from the White House what security precautions they were taking around the White House. and in the wake of the um, apparent attacks on the World Trade Center, and we suddenly just saw the smoke rising from behind the old executive office building. We have people on their way there now, but it's, it's like nothing I've ever seen. I mean, we've never seen that kind of smoke coming from, from anything that I, would I, ordinarily occur here. I must also tell you, Claire, I think if you think about what's behind the, the EOB there, you're really down uh, in pretty open area. It doesn't look like a place where a building would be on fire. No, that's right, although there are a number of buildings just behind the old executive office building on G Street that could potentially be on fire, but nothing you would necessarily think of as a target. Um, apparently, we're also... Claire, let me interrupt you for a second. We now have fire confirmed at the Pentagon. I've John McCrethy at the Pentagon can hear me. John, please get in touch immediately if you can and brief us in there. John McCrethy has actually been evacuated from the Pentagon and parts of the Pentagon are indeed being evacuated. Um, we want to hold our breath here, it just seems to me, for a second and, 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 and not get into a mode that the country is under attack. But we now have two attacks on the Twin Trade Tower Center. U.S. buildings, city buildings completely evacuated in New York City. We have this mysterious black smoke at the southwest corner of the White House, which is to say there's something going on behind the old executive office building. We now have a report that fire has been confirmed at the Pentagon. ABC's John McCrethy, our Pentagon correspondent, who's been plugging in as quickly to the intelligence and counterintelligence units there this morning, has been temporarily evacuated. But that is as much as we know for sure at the moment. John Miller, go back to what you're hearing on your nets. Um, actually, it's interesting. Uh, in, the, uh, in New York City, uh, they're reporting um, on what we're seeing here also, essentially trying to uh, tell everybody that uh, heightened security is important now. John, I apologize. There's a lot of us here. What are we listening to there? Say again. Say again, please. Come here, John. Yep. Good. Try to correct. So we have bomb I, squads. I think you're going to see a lot of this, and I think we were talking about this uh, a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, when I was telling you that in New York they were evacuating the municipal building, the United Nations, uh, Gracie Mansion, which is the mayor's residence, all potential targets, I suggested to you that shortly in Washington you'll probably be seeing the same kind of reaction at sensitive uh, symbolic locations and apparently that's become more than a concern, but perhaps a reality. Okay, we do know, or at least the Associated Press is now reporting, that an aircraft crashed near the Pentagon, and the West Wing of the White House, as Claire Shipman told us, was evacuated amid these threats of terrorism. I guess what's... Uh, first of all, let me go to another eyewitness. ABC's Bill Blakemore, one of our senior reporters, has been an eyewitness to the New York incident. Billy, on the phone? Yes, I am, Peter. Go I'm, ahead. I'm down at 12th Street. Uh, it looks like we're more than a mile north of this very surrealistic site, and business has completely come to a stop here. Looks like throughout uh, lower Manhattan, people standing in the streets, cell phones 